Telstra is under fire as it tries to explain how damage to one cable knocked out triple zero calls across the country. To make matters worse, traffic lights were also affected, along with other phone services and telemachines. Ursula Hager has the details. For a service as critical as this one. You have dialed emergency triple zero. Your call is being connected. This is a grave error. The Telstra network went down just after two this morning in the dead of night. It meant not all emergency calls got through to triple zero operators. But so far, no one can say just how many calls went unanswered, including the man responsible. No, I, couldn't, I couldn't give you an answer to that uh, today. I mean, there's uh, obviously uh, a good number of calls that go through to E-triple zero uh, every single day. Telstra says the problem began with a lightning strike near the New South Wales town of Orange. That damaged one of the company's three major fibre cables. But the real problem was the backup system that's designed to route calls to another area failed. I really wanted to take the opportunity this morning to apologise for the impact that that has had. The outage caused disruptions to some ATMs and FPOS machines, as well as the timing of city traffic lights, making for a long morning commute. But worst of all, triple zero calls were lost. The one service that can be the difference between life and death. I'm not angry, but I'm concerned, and I'm certainly concerned that we've needed to enact these redundant re arrangements. Police relied on a backup phone line, but intermittent outages of triple zero calls continued for almost 10 hours across four states. We don't have any information that there's been any adverse uh, event as a result of, of what's gone on. Are you concerned that somebody may have died and you don't know about it? Well, we're continuing to monitor and assess and we're doing everything we can. Making matters worse, emergency services say that Telstra didn't inform them there was a problem that they had to work out for themselves. We identified through our normal processes that, that things were not operating as normal and, and that's how we became aware of it. There's now questions over whether our biggest communications company should keep its triple zero contract. I'm confident that we've got in place the best network and the best systems in place to mitigate the risk of this sort of thing happening in the future. Will anyone Thanks, lose everyone. their jobs over this? A question that, like emergency calls this morning, went unanswered. Ursula Hager, 10 Eyewitness News.